Hey there everyone, it's Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with the NautilusDryDocks.com. I want to take this opportunity to put together a little bit of a PSA when it comes to dealing with uh, the RC sub guy and the Nautilus dry docks. Now this is not a rant and I don't want everybody to take this the wrong way. It's simply letting you know how things work here and what I do to deal with customers. Now, up to this point, I've been more than happy to talk to anybody anywhere in the world and talk them through their RC sub projects. But uh, fortunately for me, the Nautilus Dry Docks has grown in popularity, uh, as has my footprint on the internet. Now that means that I'm starting to see more and more inquiries from people all over the world, which is great. I want to see this hobby grow and evolve. The issue is I'm now getting inundated with questions that people have about RC submarine projects. Now, um, up to this point, I was able to field them, but now the volume has increased to the point where I am spending, and I've been tracking this, between uh, one and two hours per day just on correspondence. Now, if you think about that in an eight to 10 hour workday, that's a large percentage of my time that's taken up talking to other people and not getting anything done in the dry docks shop. Now, some of this is coming from my customers, which I'm more than happy to field. The vast majority, however, are coming from people who've purchased products elsewhere. They're not getting the support or they're finding me an easy resource to reach out to, and they're expecting me to talk them through their projects in detail. Case in point, a uh, gentleman from Malaysia just reached out to me this morning, and this is just an example, and I get multiples of these every day. Good morning, I'm from Malaysia, I've been following you, you're awesome, I follow your YouTube channel, I've learned lots. The reason I'm emailing you is because I have a problem and I'm trying to trim my submarine that I purchased from one of your competitors. My ballast is this, that, and the other thing. The surface trim is nice, but when I submerge it, it doesn't work. Please talk me through, give me advice on how to trim out my submarine. This is not a one minute project. This would be like a 20 minute process for me to type out everything that I know about trimming his submarine. The issue with that is I'm not being compensated for it. And I don't want to sound mercenary because I, for one, love giving out my knowledge and experience. But now that I am earning my living only from this, I need to be a little bit more mercenary about my time. So just as a note, for those of you who are reaching out to me on a regular basis for information, I may be getting a little bit more mercenary in my responses rather than having the easy answer, I may point you to other resources and you may, yes, have to do your own research. There's nothing that makes me grumpier than having a multitude of resources that I spent time and energy to put out there for people and people don't do it because they're too lazy to do the research on their own. So, hey, just a note, if you get a terse response from me, it's because that information is out easily accessible. I've taken the time to give it to you. You've elected not to find it. If you've gone through that effort, you've made the, the choice to try and find it, but were unable to reach out, I'll try and point you in the right direction. Things are a little bit different from my customers. You guys are supporting me and I am gonna support you back. So if this makes a difference for you, deciding where to purchase your materials from, so be it. Um, these are my customers. They are gonna get priority. They're gonna get the um, vast majority of my time and energy in responses and helping them with their project. It only makes sense. If you're upset with that, I'm sorry, that's the way it is. Uh, I'm a businessman now, and uh, this is the only thing that I do to support myself and my family. If you don't like it, there's not many other suppliers out there, but you're welcome to purchase from them. The other resource that's out there that will give you priority in my docket 
is the Nautilus Dry Docks Dive Tribe. Now, this is a membership program. You can get uh, membership on my website at nautilusdrydocks.com. Dive Tribe members absolutely get premier um, focus from me, but more than anything else, it gives you access to all of the other experts in the RC submarine community because every two weeks we have what we call our Dive Tribe Gathering. This is an online meeting. You can sign in, you can lurk if you're just looking for information, but we urge everybody to chime in. Uh, this is for beginners. It's your opportunity to ask questions, leverage all of the experience and knowledge of this group. There's usually between 12 and 20 of us on. We have a great time talking about RC submarines. For the investment in membership, you also get discounts on products. It is well worth it. So take advantage of that. It will help you in your journey. I guarantee you'll learn more from one Dive Tribe meeting than you will from a month of internet research. So with that, I'm going to sign off. Just a little PSA. Again, I'm not grumpy. I'm not upset. Uh, I just want to explain what you may be seeing in the future from me via correspondence, texts, emails, Facebook messages, Insta uh, Instagram messages, uh, YouTube comments, uh, and all of that stuff. Um, now you know. Uh, if you have questions or comments, I would actually love to see. Go ahead and post uh, your comment down below. Uh, I check it as often as I can, but if you want to get a response right away, hit me an email, bob at nautilusdrydocks.com. And with that, I'm going to sign off. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Thanks for supporting me. We'll catch you next time.